Maybe I will be a brunch bear one day. Is this still a local favorite? Princess the Bear here. We're at Old Key West Resort today because it's time to return to Olivia's. For breakfast. Yes, this place has always been a top breakfast, breakfast spot for a lot of people, but we feel like it's fell off after our last few visits. So as your number one choice of food and infotainment, remember she's vegan, I'm not. We're gonna go brunch it up. Be sure to enjoy your brunch. You heard the girl. Tequila Sunrise. I am strawless, so this is going to taste probably unfair in this drink. It's alright. Once you start, I think it'll be really nice. You can really taste the tequila. It's beautiful. I would give it a 4 out of 5 beverages. It's a good beverage. Now this looks like a sunrise. Florida sunrise. The West sunrise. That is the kind of thing I want with my brunch. Fruity, but powerful. Maybe I will be a brunch bear one day. Maybe not. Three out of five bars. We have a southern favorite, a bourbon sweet tea. Sweet tea and Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark is one of my favorite bourbons. Uh, it's a tall drink of darkness. Reminds me a lot of this bourbon tea they have at Whispering Canyon, but will it taste better? Worse? Thai? Use more bourbon. But I think it's slight, slight edge on it over Whispering Canyon. I'll give it 3.75 out of 5 balls. Maybe if it was like in a short glass and up at all, I'd like it more. This hash is here, but now instead of tofu scramble, they put some impossible sausage. And then we have the frittatas, my favorite little Mickey frittata, but it's not a Mickey here, it's just a regular frittata. I miss the Mickey. Literally my favorite reason to go to any value resort for breakfast is to get those frittatas and some Mickey waffles. Like, Mickey on Mickey is a way. But I'm just gonna try this. The sausage. The potatoes look a little under. I think I'm just gonna try it like this first and then the frittata. Cheers. The sausage is interesting. The sauce is like, it almost reminds me of like a marinara, like a meaty marinara, which is not what I was expecting. It's not a sauce that we had the last time we had this. I do think this is a little bit more improved. And the potatoes, they don't taste um, under like I thought they were. I'm probably gonna need some pepper for this, and thankfully salt and pepper is back on the table. I think the, the these potatoes on their own with the spinach and, oh, these are tomatoes. Okay, well, I think all of this on its own um, is like three out of five. Uh, travels? Yeah. But I'm gonna try it with the frittata because I love the frittata. It's made with just. And then it's got like, I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, it's got like some um, red pepper and green pepper in there. So it's kind of like a nice little like spicy thing. And I'm gonna grab some potatoes here and a little bit of the, oop, gravy. This is a dangerous bite. It's better with the frittata than without the frittata, which I was not expecting. It does elevate the dish. I would give it a 3.75 out of 5 breakfast dishes. I think this is really good and worth it. I don't know if they have tofu still. I'm assuming they don't. Actually, no. They should because they do tofu curry at night. So if you don't want an all meat and you don't want to do the sauce, just ask for it without the sauce and, and get tofu instead or just get it without the sauce and then you're all meat free. I have to admit, this is the prettiest looking plant-based breakfast that I've seen in a long time. We've been avoiding coming back to brunch and for a while. A lot of things 
we didn't figure I'd change much. This looks completely different than what I remember in like the color, the shape, the size, the portion size is massive. This is a large breakfast for anybody, be you vegan or not. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. Let's get some of the greens, the peppers, get a huge peppers. And some of the sauce. The sauce and then like, maybe like a single potato. Can I get a potato? There we go. And the description said impossible sausage. I was thinking like links or circles. I wasn't expecting crumbles. And I find the crumble, application of crumbles being weird. It's basically just like a meaty tomato sauce with the hash on top. It works, it's just unexpected. And I think because the crumbles are so small, it's really hard to get a full bite of crumble with everything else. And I don't really think the sauce adds a ton. You got to get some citrus and everything else from the tomato. But the crumble I barely taste, it's just kind of there. Now with the frittata here, let's see if this is improves my feeling on this. Get some greens. Try to get all the colors in here. It definitely feels a lot better with the frittata. More flavor, like different flavor profile, but just adds a lot without like overpowering the rest of the flavors. I think the miss here is the impossible meat. This doesn't add enough to be included. It's nice that it's there. But since it's really not adding anything at all to the flavor, it feels kind of pointless. It's a good breakfast though. I'm glad that they changed it. I almost think that it'd be better with just more just and no impossible. I would give it three and a half out of five. Minutes. It's definitely a breakfast you won't walk away either hungry or disappointed from. Then you can get it to you. So this is a curious one. This is their buttermilk pancake breakfast. Seasonal buttermilk pancakes. And apparently the seasonal only comes from the different kinds of Smucker's jams that they include with it. So like, nothing on top. This always comes on the side. I didn't ask for it on the side, but they just give you, it's just regular Smucker's like in a packet. You have grape, you have strawberry, and I guess that the seasons were to change in Florida, which you know, it does occasionally. You might get something else. I'm really unclear. I don't know why it's called seasonal. But I digress. They do give you your own little um, horse pout of the syrup. They also have whipped butter. I hate butter on my pancakes. Honestly, I can do that kind of sugar as well. Let's give it a pour. We're not dipping today. Go to give everybody the cut. You want to see people cut into things? We provide those services here. Cross section, nice and fluffy. It's a nice, fluffy pancake. Nice and soft. Nice and plain. I don't like fruit, chocolate, or any of that weird stuff like in my pancakes. So this works for me. Um, no, at some other places like Summer House and Lake, we got like a massive pancake. These are three smaller ones, but they're a little bit thicker. I guess I can go with that. Give the pancakes on their own 3.25 out of 5 claws. One of these restaurants, one day, is going to be unlimited pancakes. Somebody's going to do it. I don't know who's going to be. Maybe Whispering Canyon one day. Somebody's going to be unlimited pancakes, and I'm going to go to town. Not today. Then I got eggs. You can get them any way you want. For some odd reason today, I decided on over easy. I have no idea why, because I don't usually order eggs over easy about here. It would look good on the plate. I thought I'd make for a good photo. It's really the only reason I ordered them over easy. Uh, but this is for June from Diz Life because he hates runny eggs. If you guys also watch his videos, I need you to go on whatever video they posted last and post an egg emoji and Tom Princess in the bear singing. That's runny, well cooked egg. No complaints, look exactly like I asked for it. Three out of five plus. Then you get Disney bacon. Disney bacon has a history of being unimpressive. This is like quick service bacon. I, I guess I was thinking like a, a thicker cut. It's Disney bacon. Two and a half out of five plus. I do like this plate. I'm leave the whole plate three and a half because what I asked for, but honestly, it feels so basic. I'd wish I'd gone with something more unique that they have here, like uh, the omelet, or even their their chicken and biscuits or chicken chicken and waffles that I've had before. I was gonna order ha or hush puppies and forgot those. That's on me. 
It's okay. One thing I will say about Olivia is brunch is better than dinner. Yes, brunch is absolutely better than dinner, but I do think that Summer House on the Lake is the superior local eats brunch location Ooh. to Olivia's. And you upset some people with that one. Well, as your number one choice in food and entertainment, sometimes we are going to hurt somebody's feelings about their favorite restaurants. Olivia's is okay, but this hotel and these restaurants need a rework. Yes. Olivia's is not big enough. Good Foods to Go is not big enough. Way too small. It needs something. This is the oldest DVC resort here while Disney World. It needs a facelift to bring it up with the other resorts. I, I feel anyway. I agree. Uh, but I don't know what you guys think about Olivia's because most of this channel, if not 65% of it, is the community. If you're new here, welcome. What's There's the other 40%? Us. Okay. 60? <laughs> 40. 60? 40. Okay. <laughs> If there's anything else you can see us do, the comments is a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We will see you soon. Be sure to Florida, otherwise California. No, not California, but you heard the girl. Princess starring in Beetlejuice 2 this fall. <laughs> <laughs>